guys, Matt here. So today we are going to be finding out what is in a master lock. So there's some junk dumping out of it. I'll insert a uh, picture here. I didn't want to do it on camera because it's so loud. But I took it in the basement and took a sawzall and just sliced the back of it off because it's so difficult to get these open. Uh, really the only other way is to just bang it with a sledgehammer and pry bar and you can actually uh, remove the back plate from it. But it's a little bit more fun just to cut it. So I did that. So I'm going to zoom in here. And show you that is the inside so like I said this is the inside of a master lock this is the back plate and then this is the actual back of uh, the rolled steel I guess case had a pin here or actually two that were cut from the sawzall has a spring on the back which pushed up against that back plate I would guess to keep tension on this and inside you can see there is a small tension bar that's used to keep pressure on the slide pin so when you push it down it pops back in place. But that's really all there is to it. There's a uh, pin here with a pivot from the slide pin that pushes over. And then this is part of the dial mechanism. Let's see. You can, yeah, you can see it turning in there. Let me get you close. And it has a little bit of a plastic uh, bearing or washer in there that keeps it from pushing, it appears, on the spring. So the spring went right up against it. That pushes on this back plate. That keeps that dial mechanism down towards the front. And these are the three rotating tumblers, for lack of a better term. Let me open these up, see if I can pry these out of here for you. Oh, that was pretty simple. This last one is probably, yeah, connected to the actual face plate. Uh, I believe by that pin it's probably uh, like tack welded uh, somehow or another. So there's three of them however and rotate 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 until they you get the right combination they line up like that and then it allows it to open. So pretty simple design that's why they've been around forever in a day. They are super cheap. I think you can get them at the dollar store even. I don't know that they're um, actually master lock brand probably not uh, but they're all pretty much the same maybe just a hair higher quality material but really any of these uh, combination locks if anybody wanted to get into them you can just stick a little pry bar in there and pop them right open they don't really uh, do a whole lot as in terms of security they're more of a deterrent but all right anyway guys that is what is inside a master lock as always, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.